Hey guys, are you into time traveling, demon hunting, and badass women? Well, I might have found a book for you. Alright, so coming out February 5th, 2020, we got TART issue number one that initially started off as a Kickstarter, but then later was picked up by Scout Comics, so that's pretty damn cool. And in fact, I, I believe issue number one comes out, which is going to be almost like a one-shot because later on, you're going to have the collective volume released in a trade, so that way you can get your binge reading on. Alright, so written by Kevin Joseph and art by Ludovic Saul, we got TART issue number one, and as soon as you open up this book, one thing I want to mention is I did get a reviewer copy, the PDF form the the borders the white borders around each panel looked like it was almost like dipped in a tea bag and it looked it looked kind of cool like i was happy that it wasn't just your standard white background and that that was kind of like a big plus for me because I, I like stuff like that all right so now the story takes place we have this woman and she's in the alleyway and she's all disoriented she's not she's not sure what's going on this man comes out of the blue and is like hey like you let me here's my hand let me lift you up and she just pulls out a blade on him she's like i can help myself you know and he went running he went bonkers i was like oh man this is crazy like this chick, like, she's about it, you know? But I'm like, why is she doing it in the alleyway? Like, that was kind of like, how did she end up here? It's very confusing. And then as the story progresses, she's even like, where the hell am I? She finds a newspaper, and, and, and I was just like, where the hell are there newspapers? But then you actually look a little bit closer on the date. 1955, she sees a boy missing, and instantly everything clicks. Like, all right, well, this is why I'm here. So the whole issue is pretty much her going on a mission and this this time so she must have traveled through time to end up here which explains why she just popped up in a random alleyway disoriented because you know it must be disoriented to travel through space and time anyway she gets here and i'm always curious who sent her here and and how was she sent here maybe something supernatural anyway she she's looking for this child who she suspects was taken by demons and then she she meets some almost people that are like transporters and can transport people through the human realm to the demon realm and she goes to the demon realm and they they already know her one thing that this kind of reminded me of if you ever watched the tv show supernatural it kind of reminded me of like here is this badass person not scared of demons looking death right in the face and even having demons be afraid of them you know afraid of her so i thought this was kind of cool like i'm a huge supernatural fan like i geek out i rewatch season after season so reading this i was completely enjoying it you know and then we, we get some pages and some panels where we see her try to relax and try to be like a normal person taking a bath which it looks a little bit raunchy you know she should be taking off all her clothes and stuff you know i ain't mad at it but we, we see that she has like trauma and some pain and it's like she sits down and tries to relax and and be at ease but it's like the only thing she could think of are traumatic events that have happened to her in her past, which when the later collective volumes come out or the later collective issues come out in a trade form, I definitely want to see if we dig into that some more because I kind of like this character. Without really giving away too many spoilers, you know, she goes and she, she finds this kid and she's able to rescue him. And when she's with him, you know, we're back in 1955 and she says one thing that kind of like it made me feel like if I was a time traveler as who I am and I went back to the 50s, this is the advice that I would give. Never let your mom throw those out comics either. Remember that and you'll thank me. Now, I'm not too good at, you know, making female voices, so I tried a little bit. But that's, like, one advice that I would give is, hey, you know, like, those comics, don't throw them away. Just keep them. You know, make sure your mom doesn't throw them away. The baseball cards, keep them. Just, just in case. You'll thank me later. You know, I thought that was cool. Like, especially coming from a comic collector, I'm sure you guys could, you know, <laughs> you guys would appreciate that, too. I mean, I appreciate that. I thought that was kind of cool that they threw that in there. And then we end off the, the book where she kind of, like, fades away into, like, a new place. Like, it looks like a new time, a new era. So I'm like, oh, snap. Like, what's what's more to come? So, like, I, I'm, I'm, I can't wait for this to come out, man. You know, they, they did a good job with this one. You know, if you do get a chance to, to pick this up at your local shop or ask your shop owner if they want to order it or you can go online to numerous websites, one I would recommend is Midtown Comics. I have the direct link to this issue down below in the description so you could go ahead and check it out. Anyway, um, yeah, if you guys get a chance to read this, come back over here, leave a comment in the section. I want to hear your thoughts on the book and if you're looking forward to that trade paperback as I am. And I kind of want to see some more Supernatural books like this because it kind of, you know, we got the TV show Supernatural ending and I'm kind of upset about it. But, you know, if I could get my fix in the comments book world let's do it anyway i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to smash that like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace what we do here is go back 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 back
Man, I ain't got a lot. She looks pretty damn fine, dude. Damn. That little boy lucky, dude, because she butt-ass nigga right now. Oh, shit. <laughs> 